thank you for coming to attend our presentation. Today, our paper is uh, entitled On the Uses and Functions of the Case Marker New in Colloquial Yang Mai. I am Mucham from Sikkim University, and my co presenter uh, is Kailat Bao Dai Mai from Utkal University. Both of us are native speaker of Liang Mai. In today's presentation, we will attempt to examine the role of the case marker new in Liang Mai. This is the scheme of our presentation today. First, we will quickly look at uh, Liang Mai as a tribe and their geographical location. Uh, the second part will be an overview of case markers in Yang Mai, including uh, some case marking patterns given by diction. The third and main uh, part of the presentation will be uh, to look at the various function of case marker new in Yang Mai, uh, which will be followed by our concluding remarks. Liang Mai uh, is spoken in Northeast India, especially in the state of uh, Nagaland and Manipur. In Manipur, the population is found in Tamanglong district, Sunapati district, and Kampopi district. And in Nagaland, uh, it is found in Perun district. Liang Mai is one of the Naga tribes. Regarding the nomenclature of the community, before 2012, Liang Mai was known in government document as Katsanaga, uh, which refers to both Liang Mai and Jai Mai. This misnomer was officially done away with the Constitution Scheduled Tribes Order Amendment 8 in 2011 by the Parliament of India. After this, in Manipur, uh, Liang Mai is Liang Mai and Jai Mai. They are separately known with their original, original and correct name. However, Liang Mai tribe in Nagaland state is still known as Zeliang together with Jai Mai tribe. Other tribes that are close to Liang Mai linguistically and geographically are Jai Mai, Rong Mai, Pui, Maram, Tangal, Pao Mai, etc. Now we quickly look at the earlier reports on Yang Mai case marker. Mataina reported uh, 10 case markers and they are shown on the uh, screen. Um, Terengna reported nine case markers, same as above, except for terminative case, but with different levels of case, including the presence of a nominative case. Dai Mai 2018 presented paper entitled ergativity in Liang Mai. In languages, uh, case marking patterns, core case marking patterns are recognized by looking whether the language is marking uh, syntactically or uh, semantically. Uh, Dixon had given four uh, patterns that are common to the world languages. The first one is nominative accusative case. In this uh, pattern, A argument and S argument marked in similar way, but differently for O argument. The second one is ergative absolutive. O argument of transitive clause and S argument of an intransitive clause have similar marking, while A argument is different. Third is, the third one is split S system. S uh, arguments of one set of intransitive verbs get morphosyntactic treatment similar with a argument of a transitive verb, well as argument of another set of intransitive verbs get, gets a morphosyntactic treatment similar with uh, all arguments of transitive clause. The fourth uh, pattern given by diction is a uh, fluid S system similar with a split S that is having set of intransitive verbs that marks S like A and another set of intransitive verbs that marks S like O, except that in fluid S, S argument gets case marking based on semantic factors. 
The position of Liang Mai as in GPS marker in relation to the above four types given by diction is a mixed thing. Uh, it does not completely follow any one of the above patterns strictly, but it seems to be following partially in all uh, the above patterns. And this can be seen from the examples uh, we will see in the following section. Generally uh, speaking, Liang Mai has a similar case marking patterns as reported in Mete uh, by Chelia in 1997, Mongxian Ao by Ku 2007, and Sumi by Teo 2012. Before uh, moving further or uh, quickly on the terminology, we didn't label this marker new as a nominative case in Liang Mai. In Mete, but and Ningomba also level Ne as a nominative case marker, but for the same language, Mete, Chilia, however, analyzes as an adjective marker. In Liang Mai, Mataina level the same marker as an adjective marker, while Dai Mai 2018 leveled the same marker as adjective marker. Following La Pola, Kup, and Teo, and others, we use the label adjective in this presentation. La Pola uses the term adjective to refer to a subject argument that acts willfully or is done in volition and uses the, uses the term ergative when transitive marking is done systematically based on syntactic pattern. Also, we do not label the marker new here as nominative because as a nominative marker, it does not mark subject experiential of a or S argument. argument. This means nominative is absent in Liang Mai. Uh, it may be noted that the adjective morphine new, adjective marker morphine new is uh, homophonous with instrumental case marker in Liang Mai. The adjective marker new in Liang Mai is found to be marked both A and S arguments depending on their pragmatic condition. Otherwise, it is not mandatorily marked. Adjective marker is optionally marked when A and S have control over the action. Uh, we look at the following uh, couple of examples below to see that uh, adjective marking in Liang Mai is optional. Example one, Nichi Piu Marui Kam Sat Lu Khaim Ba Mei Nang Ru Khai Lo. Yeah, the meaning is your brother had killed a chicken and cat, you burn it. So in this example, the uh, adjective marker can be optional. However, the presence of adjective marker indicates an adjectivity. Uh, that means uh, if, the, if it is marked, uh, it shows that the subject, the A argument has control over the, the, the action, or it shows uh, it is done with some intention. So uh, this can be uh, seen in example 2a and 2b, in 2a, e mi qa, i cough, here the uh, subject is, the subject has no control over the action, but in the second example 2b, the subject has control or uh, the, the, the doer is doing the action intentionally. Uh, above examples, 2a and 2b are examples of S argument of the intransitive clause. This pattern is similar with A argument of transitive clause as shown in 3A and 3B below. Adjective marker cannot be present when, when the A argument occurs as a subject experiencer and has no control over the action. In example four, five, six, uh, the doer, the subject has no control over the action as in four, a one two way, my stomach X. In six, the do is over may, water is dripping. Here the subject has totally no control over the action. In the above example, in the above examples, it can be observed that all the actions are caused by natural phenomena or by accident or by an accident. In this kind of context, 
the adjective marker new cannot be present in the uh, sentence because it will uh, become ungrammatical. Still, there is an example contrary to above, above three examples, four, five, and six, not marking on the subject experiencer. In the following example, uh, seven, eight, the subject experiencer, like in four above, has no control over the action, but adjective marking in them can be optional. But if we closely look at the context of the above sentences and this uh, example number seven, uh, they are uh, the context uh, is different. In seven, Panyu Natu Pachun Sabame, he is upset with you. Here, uh, the subject has uh, no control over the action, but it is uh, totally different from the sentences as we have seen in four and six. But still, the adjective marker can be optional. Now, the remaining portion will be presented by my co uh, presenter, Kailat Bo. Okay, thank you, Witam. Okay, to continue, the adjective marker is mandatory in pragmatic situations, such as in response to a question, who did it? This pattern is reported in Ao and also in Liang Mai. This is the context where we can state that uh, adjective marker is obligatory. In this type of context, new is used to recognize a credit or a blame upon the agent. So we see an example 9A, Sao Nu Murui Kamsatlo, who killed the chicken? 9B, as an answer to the, uh, as an answer to 9A, we say, Lumpunbo Nu Murui Kamsate. Here in this uh, con context, the use of adjective marking is obligatory. Additionally, marking A argument look, looks more natural in causative sentences, but it can still be optional. For example, we have intransitive non-causative clause in 10A, like Lung Si Liu Nuye, Lung Si Liu Laughs. Now 10B, we have this causative clause, in 10B, we have this causative clause, e new lung si liu tu tam nuye. Here in 10B, there's a added argument that is e, i. And the s, the single s argument of intransitive becomes o, o argument. The, uh, the added argument which occupies the position of a is mark as in tip. The example in causative clauses sounds more natural with the marking of as in tip, though it is optional. The marker new is also used to mark inanimate subject, such as in 12, Nai make new kabun kamnu ide. Here the inanimate Nai make sun is marked as in TIFF. The marker new is also used to indicate contrast or comparison. Here in example 13, we have I see new, Hong Kong Madai, we see new, Hong Kong new. Similarly in 14, we can see Lung Thon Bo new, Palung Kawi Pui Na, same new new along sapu na e. Here the new marker gives a contrastive meaning. Okay, to conclude, we can say that adjective marking is optional in Liang Mai. The adjective can occur both in transitive and intransitive clauses. Mm -hmm. Importantly, the adjective marker occurs to recognize a credit or a blame to the agent subject or to point out the doer. It can occur both in past and future even. 
In regard to a subject experiencer, that is a argument is a subject experiencer. There are two contexts where agentive marking is totally absent and also where agentive marking can be optional. Examples four and seven. It also occurs in reported speech, though not mandatory, but it sounds more natural when we use agentive in reported speech. In causative construction, agentive is more natural, but again, it can be optional. Both animate and inanimate A argument can take agentive marker. So at this moment, we can conclude that the agentive marking in Liangwei is taking place based on pragmatic factors. However, thorough and in-depth study is still required to confirm, especially the core marking, the core argument marking pattern in Liangwei. These are the references. Thank you, one more. Thank you.